This is the Ninja AF101 air fryer. It's an affordable option that offers impressive all-around cooking performance, easy-to-use controls, and a range of useful features, which helps make it one of the most popular air fryers available. It's a few years old at this point, and there are a lot of newer models on the market, so you might be wondering how the AF101 compares with other quality appliances in 2022. And Ninja offers a one-year warranty if any performance issues arise. It comes with a 31-inch cord that allows for decent placement flexibility, but it has an air intake valve on the top and an exhaust vent on the back that shouldn't be covered to ensure proper air circulation. It has an ergonomic handle that allows you to remove the basket or shake your food as needed, although it is somewhat prone to collecting fingerprints. Unlike many newer air fryers on the market, it doesn't have a basket-in-basket -basket design, and it comes with a single crisper plate to catch some grease and circulate hot air through your food. The basket also has a non-stick ceramic coating, so you don't need to worry about chemicals associated with Teflon products, and all of the removable components are dishwasher safe for easy cleaning after each use. Despite its compact size, it offers a 4-quart internal capacity that provides plenty of space and it can hold up to 2 pounds of french fries at a time, which makes it perfect for multi-person homes or dorms. The pan has a rounded design that can fit a pretty good amount of food, but it does require you to stack your ingredients. I would have preferred to see a square-shaped pan like the Corsari Air Fryer XL to maximize your cooking surface area. So it can fit a decent amount of food, and it has an easy-to-clean basket, but that doesn't really matter if it's a difficult air fryer to use. On the front, it has an easy to use interface that provides a decent range of controls for your meals. It comes with a power button to start the machine, a digital readout, and arrow buttons that allow you to control your time and cooking temperature, although you should preheat the fryer for around 3 minutes before placing your ingredients into the basket. It doesn't come with as many cooking functions as some of the newer models, but it still provides a decent cooking versatility and it offers an air fry function to deliver a crisp texture, a roast mode, a reheat function for colder food, and a dehydration mode to remove moisture from making snacks like chips or jerky. You get a useful start-stop button that pauses the cooking process so you can safely check the progress, shake your food, and adjust the time temperature as needed. Even more, it comes with some useful additional features, such as a sticker that shows the time and temperature requirements for popular meals, a booklet with 20 recipes, and automatic temperature adjustments when cooking, and more. I thought the overall cooking performance was interesting when compared to some of the newer models. It doesn't utilize the modern dual zone technology like the Ninja DZ201, but it does have an effective 1500 watt heating element that can consistently deliver a thorough even cook with decent speeds, though it is somewhat hot to touch when in use. It also has a convenient automatic standby function that's enabled after 15 minutes of inactivity for added safety and better energy efficiency. You also get a temperature range of 105 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit for greater cooking versatility. Overall, the Ninja AF101 air fryer is a great all-around option that provides a good amount of preset functions and an impressive cooking performance. With its intuitive control layout, ceramic non-stick pan that's easy to clean, solid build quality, and respectable internal capacity, you can easily see why this is one of the most popular and highly rated air fryers on the market.